Well, my friends, January of 2022 isn't over yet. But already it feels like fucking Christmas. Because you see, my friends, there's been a lot of developments going on in the Graper world. Because today, not that long ago, the January 6th subcommittee has issued subpoenas for Patrick Casey and Nicholas J. Fuentes. That's right, folks. The Groypers are going to Washington to testify about what they know about the events leading up to the January 6th Boogaloo. And I, for one, am very much am excited to see just what exactly is going to happen when Nick Fuentes has to testify in front of Congress. I've been watching a lot of uh, leftist YouTubers after the uh, events of the January 6th shit show and uh, well, there's this one guy, a man by the name of Farron Cousins, who proposed his idea that mainstream media should make the January 6th TV hearings primetime so that everyone can fucking watch the January 6th proceedings. I don't know about you, but I cannot help but agree with this man. Because if Patrick Casey and Nick Fuentes are going to be hauled up to Washington to testify in front of this January 6th committee, then I would love nothing more than to see this shit unfold on TV. Because it's going to be an absolute shit show, make no mistake. But just imagine the fucking spectacle we're going to get out of this. Nick Fuentes asking members of Congress about what happened to the USS Liberty. Nick Fuentes making cookie jokes. Out-of-touch boomers trying to figure out why everyone calls each other friend in Griper World. Out-of-touch boomers trying to figure out why Nick Fuentes was on a date with a cat boy. And why having relationships with women is gay. Oh, it's going to be fucking magical and I hope and pray to God. It fucking gets televised. It's going to be fucking magical. You know, I said that the Chris Chan trial was probably going to be the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I still hold that to truth. But if what happens with Nick Fuentes when he has to speak in front of Congress goes televised. And on live TV. In prime time, no less. Holy shit, is it going to be fucking magical. And I am excited to see what this train wreck of stupidity leads to next. Will this lead to Ethan Ralph having to get subpoenaed and dragged in front of the committee? Okay, granted, he did not take part in the January 6th boogaloo because, well, <laughs> he was dealing with the revenge porn charges with the Faith Vickers and couldn't do shit. But maybe Ethan Ralph will get, to, will get thrown in front of Congress. That would be fucking fun. I'd watch that. Oh, well, and speaking of Ralph... Episode 2 of the Kino Casino looks to be interesting. Because episode 2 of the Kino Casino is going to be the Fuck Ralph Festival. We're going to get a whole lot of guests. We got PPP, Worski, Kraut, Flamenco, possibly Daddy Jim, I don't know. Cog the Cuck for some reason, and countless others. So stay tuned for that shit show. But anyway, I just figured I might as well leave my uh, hot takes on this breaking fucking news involving uh, the ongoing shenanigans of Groyper World. And uh, I am very much looking forward to seeing Nick Fuentes get hauled up <laughs> in front of fucking Congress. Maybe, maybe the fucking committee will allow Nick Fuentes to live stream it. I'm sure we'll get some very interesting super chats. I doubt it, but you never know. But anyway, this is where I'm going to cut it, so I'll catch you guys next time.